Hello, welcome to a juicesteam.com screencast of how to convert a DVD movie using Handbrake on Mac OS X. Uh, Handbrake is my preferred application to convert movies by far, uh, replacing Mac the Ripper or a combination of FFmpeg X and Mac the Ripper or anything else. Like this application does it all in one nice GUI and the developers for the applications are doing an awesome job at making it very easy to use. So usually the main version you would get from handbrake.fr and you would go into the download section and then that's where you would pick the version that suits you. Like in the Leopard, then you've got the universal binary or you, that's providing you with a GUI or a common line version for the experts and there's also Windows, Linux or the source you can get. For this demo I'm actually going to show you the future version of Handbrake which is going to be 0.9.3 and this one can be found under the Handbrake site but it's actually under the snapshot section of the site. Um, that's the current snapshot that's being frozen for potential going live with 0 0.9.3 and the version I'm using is the Intel only version GUI that's gonna, that I'm going to show you. So here's how you actually go and upload or actually convert a movie uh, on Mac OS X using Handbrake. And as you can see it actually shows me, uh, prompt me for where do I want to get the movie from. So in this case I'm going to get the movie from a, the contact DVD. It's the 16 by 9 um, version. So I'm gonna open. I'm gonna tell Android to just go and scan that DVD. You might hear the DVD being scanned. So it's scanning through the titles. And there is actually an activity window you can pop open by clicking activity that shows you what the actual application is doing right now as it scans. So it gives you some detail about bitrate of the video, like um, how many, I guess, uh, what what's the actual uh, rate for the audio and the bitrate and the aspect ratio for the video and whatnot. So that's all nice information you can go and read. But in this case, we're not going to really dig into that at this point. I just want to show you the quick way to convert a movie. So here we go. It, it, it completed the scan of the actual 12 or found nine valid title it can use and the, obviously the one that we are looking at is the two and a half hour version um, that's going to produce the movie. So first thing you want to do is you want to select in the presets if it's not showing you, you just click on toggle presets here you need to select what you want to output for. In my case I like to output my movie into the new Apple TV format, which is tuned specifically for the limits of the Apple TV. The nice thing about that one is that it will also play fine on an Xbox 360 or PS3. Or you could just go and simply pick the Xbox 360 version, which is gonna be specifically tuned for a, a, a conversion for the Xbox 360. You have a choice of PS3, PSP, there is a bunch of other choice. You can pick specific iPod, iPhone versions, or you can just pick the Apple Universal that will play on pretty much any of the new Apple uh, fifth generation device. So that would be the new iPods video and the new iPhone iPod touch. But I'm gonna stick to Apple TV because it produces a smaller output with better visual quality overall for less bit for smaller file size. Um, so now that you've picked the Apple TV preset, what you do is you want to go and check the pictures. Make sure that things look good. So clicking picture will will bring a preview and will give you the opportunity to change some of the settings to actually customize the way you want to crop the file if it if it doesn't look good or it's not to your taste. In my case everything looks fine. I'm just going to quickly scan over some scenes to make sure that things look the way I want and they do. So I'm just going to stick to that. So I'm going to close that window. The next thing you want to do is go under the audio and subtitles section. Um, 
For example, if I wanted to convert that movie into French, because let's say I want to get the, the French audio, I could just go and select the French track. And then, as you can see, it's being picked now as Dolby Surround because it's not, it's a, just a Dolby Surround track. And you have the opportunity here to boost the audio output because sometimes it gets a little bit weak and you need to crank up the audio too much. So I like to actually increase uh, the dynamic range compression of the audio so it's actually easier to listen to. And if I wanted to, I could keep the second uh, audio track, the English track, and I could just keep it as an AC3 or I can just say, you know what, convert that to an AAC track. And in this case, because it's a 5.1 channel, you can see that the audio has been picked as Dolby Pro Logic 2 and I can just then go and increase the actual bit rate or the, sorry, the um, dynamic range compression to get better audio. If you want, you can also add some subtitles. Let's say I want to keep the English subtitles or French subtitles if I listen to the English track. So I could just pick subtitles as being French and that's a trick. And chapters will be added as markers in the file automatically as the file is being encrypted or converted. And here are the advanced settings that have been set for a suitability to an Apple TV uh, output unit. So don't go and play around with that unless you really know what you're doing. But here you can go and change the way the encoding will be done. So going back to video, now you can see that uh, the, the, the way the preset works is it's going to do a constant quality at 15, 59% encoding and that's what you want to leave it at. You don't get a predictable file size but it's going to be, the file will be as small as it can be for a proper uh, video quality that will be astounding on an Apple TV. You can crank it up if you want but the more you crank this value up the bigger the file size will get for very little gain in picture quality. So I'm gonna leave it up to that. So when, when you're at this point, really, you're good to go. You just need to click Start, and the encoding process will start. To see what's going on, you can click again the activity window, and you're gonna see what it's doing at the back. It's actually syncing. It actually looked at what the job configuration was like, and how it's gonna be encoded. Uh, key interval minimum 24, uh, maximum 240, uh, and so on. So you can actually look at the details and of what's going to be done. And you can just close that window, don't no need to let it run. And now you can see how many frames per second are being encoded in the video and the average and estimated time to arrival of three hours and six minutes in this case, eight minutes as it actually go and starts to encode more and you get the percentage of the actual whole movie done. So that's it. You just need to let it go through. Just to give it to you a quick view, I'm not going to let it finish. I'm just going to let, get, let it go up to about 1% of uh, conversion or maybe half a percent, for example. Let's stop it here just to give you an, an idea of the output. So I'm going to cancel current conversion. And now the file just shows here. So I can just bring it up. And now you're going to see the quality. So for example, so far it's uh, 1.3 uh, megabit rate for both the audio, the two audio and the video, and it was uh, it's a 23.97 frame per second encode. And if I play that, you should see it play just very well. The quality of the video should be astounding again. Not sure about audio because there's pretty no audio at this point in the movie. Because it's, oh, you can start to hear it a little bit, but, and you can see the effect, the effect of the subtitles. And now I can hear the audio. And that's it, that's what I've encoded so far, but if I had let it go through, 
it would have encoded the whole thing. Uh, here I have the choice of the language. If, because I've got two languages, I could go English or French because that's what I've got. And I've got subtitles uh, that were hard coded in the video, obviously, but that's uh, up to you to add or not add subtitles. So that's uh, how you encode a movie with uh, Handbrake. I hope you enjoy and uh, have fun uh, converting your video.